Hello guys. Yeah, my name is Igor Wari and I'm a PhD researcher with Lancaster University. Uh, I just want to do this brief tutorial talking about how we can manage some hydrological data. Like normally, if if you want to undertake like a flood frequency analysis, you have uh, lots of uh, river measurements of discharge for a daily period over like several years so like as you can see here we have data from like 1960 down to down to like uh, 2012 as you can see here so these are uh, data is guys from Nigeria for one of the gas stations called Barrow so um, mostly if you want to undertake this kind of analysis you have to extract like the maximum annual uh, discharge you want to act, uh, you want to be able to extract the maximum discharge for every year for the whole different years that's a time series so uh, first thing you want to do to make this easy I'm going to try to do this in Excel you'd want to uh, define this days which is in date here by year so you want like all the 1960s group together 1961 group together until you get to 2012 so in excel first thing you do is you want to pick out use the function year to be able to do this so you pick the first series there for you to select the whole data right in there you hold control and shift and you press down you see that all of that is highlighted but we don't want this last one so we'll just raise it up a bit and we'll press enter so you see that the same thing comes up here but we'll just have to go to the uh, format cell and go to numbers and change this to zero decimal so we have just a plain number so as you can see we have all the 1960s and all that here so we just scroll this and take it down and and ensure that we have all the uh, dates covered up so I'm just scrolling I'll just get this done in a bit so as yes, you can see the whole of our dates back to 2012 so I actually want to name this EA and this is a discharge so the next thing you want to do is and highlight the table we have all the size covering up all that here so I just want to go down to I'll go down to 2012 it's gonna take a bit of time but yeah we'll get there I just want to highlight the whole thing I think holding shift and control would have worked but you just do this this way okay so you highlight that and you go to your insert and you insert pivot table so you want to okay that so now we are on the next sheet and you see the pivot table so you want to drag the years into rows and you drag the discharge into values oh sorry discharge goes into values there so as you can see we have rows and we have values here but you want to go to this and click on it then go to value field setting then change the setting to max so you can see now we now have all the maximum flow so maybe you want to open and the sheet then just copy it and paste it there so we have a year here and we have maximum discharge here so that's exactly how it works and it's as simple as that as you can see here so you can see all this uh, data set with minus 999 minus 9999 that means there's no data there which is uh, typical with hydrological data where you have no uh, information for a particular year because there are lots of challenges so if you want to know how you can uh, fill in missing data I have a previous tutorial just go to my channel and you can look that up all right so with this now you can begin to do some flood frequency analysis so maybe in subsequent videos i'm going to show you how to go about doing that
all right thanks for watching so you can like comment and subscribe and i hope this helps you out bye